Have you ever played rugby? You probably have. But do you want to improve your game? Watch my videos and you learn a bit more about rugby. Anyway, before you start, before I start, you might be a good tackler, you might be a good runner. But rugby, the ball, is the most important thing in the game. It is your life. If you lose the ball, you lose the game. But before that, there's three drills in my video that you must master. Three basics. Rocking, tackling, and running. Here. Running. I cannot teach you a lot about running. You do that every day. But in rugby, there's always some few basic tips that you must learn. When you run straight at the player, you get smashed. Don't try this. So, you might learn from that example. But in running, especially for the forwards, there is a few basic tips that you must know. When you run, always run outside the player. Never run inside the player. Always step out of the player. And when you step out of the player, try a fend off. It keeps the player out of your way. Rocking. As you know, a rock is formed when a player is tackled and two teams compete for the ball. I know, you might have a difficulty, you might be a beginner. But beginner is always a start. Remember, there is always a bad example. And if you're part of the example, watch carefully. As you saw the example, the player went high, and that player, that opposition player, couldn't move at all. So, if a player is that low, how are you supposed to move him? There's only one choice. Bow roll. Bow roll is when you run, grab the player, and you twist them around as fast as possible. If you're not sure what I'm saying, here. Bridge. You might have difficulty driving the player out the rock. Why don't you try a bridge? A bridge is formed when one of your teammates get tackled. And once the player is tackled, you, as a player, will put two hands on the player's shirt and pull your leg out. It's hard to say, so why don't you see example? Remember, in a bridge, you must always be low. Here, you see that other example? You didn't go low enough. So when you get low enough in the bridge, no one can pass you. This is great when you're isolated. And if there's no other player around you, forward bridge. Tackling, the most fundamental part of the game. You might have difficulty tackling, you might not have. Anyway, if you don't tackle, the other team will never give you back the ball. Tackling is where you put your arms around the other player's hips and you drag them down the floor. Remember, better to grab the hips and push them forward. Because if you push them forward, you gain momentum. Momentum is very important in the game. But before that, let me explain to you about, about, a bit about tackling. Remember, when you're tackling, don't run straight at the player. The player won't run at you. He will always make you steps. He always try to fan fend off you. He will try everything. But don't. Don't run right at the attacker.